All right, so now we have steering. We have a seat on our nine and a quarter hunting car, which you might change the hunting cart because it makes more sense. Now we need to figure out how to make it run. So we got a five gallon fuel tank that we're gonna slap in it today. We have... To feed these. Yeah. Carburetors. Bro, this Alexis, what are they? These are Weber's. Weber's? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, these are Weber's, I'm dumb. Best. I'm dumb, I didn't even knew they were Weber's. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna slap these on. So let's just keep moving, honestly. When the uh, sump plate cover bolt turns that hard, does not make me happy. One one. Uh, yeah, doesn't look good for this engine. <laughs> I may see a plan B in our future. <laughs> That's okay, we have a plan B in <laughs> We do have a plan B in So it's not terribly, it's like, I mean, this still sucks. I'm yeah. not saying it doesn't suck. It is. At least we didn't like go out and buy an engine first. <laughs> 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 what happened? Well, the sun cover just came off and look how little is dripping out. Well, yeah. I mean, it's been sitting for a long time. Oh, yeah, the strainer's still in, so let's see. I like Tony's laughing right now. The nervous laugh. Yeah, <laughs> nervous laughter. Why does it look like a seagull just hit me? <laughs> we could pull the spark plugs out and see what we see inside there. That's a good idea. I think that is a good idea. And I'll also try to turn it over, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, maybe we. Maybe before we even do the spark plugs. Yeah, we could take the seat off. Let's look at the inside of an engine. So you sound like, you, you sound like your uh, Discovery Channel, like. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm discovering you're like, something. You're like, well, it's like Planet Earth over there. <laughs> this is the top of the engine. During this season, the spark plugs like to migrate to the center. <laughs> yeah, this isn't looking good, Ryan. Doesn't want to move. Okay. So what do you want to do? There's nothing, well, is it in gear? No. You're certain? Can you spin both axles? Yep. Darn. It's not in gear. And there's nothing else that would pin it? Nope. You know, I'll break the crank bolt off if I try any harder to turn the crank. Okay. We could so. try from the flywheel end, but I feel like if it's... If it's that long. Yep. Well, we have another engine. Yeah. And the other engine is actually in better condition to put it in something anyway, right? There's, not, there's no engine, like there's nothing on top of it, right? It's just a right. air engine, so. Yeah, it, yeah tin, I think. Yeah. Tin, tin is on it, so it's ready for carbs. We can go get that engine, take this one out. Yeah, should we, should we grab a side shifter while we're taking everything out anyway? Probably. What Tony's referring to is on 914s, there's two transmissions, well, probably more than two, but there's two transmissions. There's two. The tail shifter and the side shifter. The tail shifter, which is what's on this currently, is known for shifting horribly. The side shifter is known for shifting kind of horribly. <laughs> but slightly better. We have one, or two probably. So maybe while we're at it, we'll switch that out. Are they? 911 tail shift. 911. Maybe maybe oh, the store's out of stock. This is economy. You gotta check the, uh, <laughs> the shambles. <laughs> What's that tag say right there? Uh, it says uh, transmission. 914 side shifter. This thing is greasy. Yeah. Well, that's good. This one's really rusty right there. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I want the greasy, the greasy one. one. Let's take the greasy one. Yeah. We're in luck. They had it in the back. <laughs> All right, here we go. Where's the self-checkout self at?
Hey Ryan, can you hand me that 17? Ryan? No. <laughs> at, at least you got the gas tank and the battery in before, before you had to go. We tried to turn the engine over and it wouldn't go. Um, so the engine we mocked up with, we had to take out as well as the transmission. But the good news is we now have a much fresher two liter and side shifter trans instead of a worn out boat anchor 1.7 and a tail shifter trans. We swapped out the engine and now we put the carbs on it. And so when we get a good starter, we should be able to crank this thing over and see if it fires off. <laughs> I got a big wrench in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, so keep an eye out for the next video on this. Hopefully we have it running. Also keep watching for updates and videos on the slant nose. If you like the videos, subscribe, like, comment, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.